hello everyone in this video we will discuss about lung abscess so what is lung abscess or pulmonary abscess so this is a local suppurative process which takes place in lung tissue and it produces necrosis of the tissue so here you can see in the gross this is the area showing the lung abscess it is a local suppurative process and there will be necrosis present now going to how this occurs there are various organisms which are involved in the lung abscess. You have streptococci, staphylococci and various other gram-negative organisms. But how these organisms are introduced into the lungs? So there are some mechanisms by which these organisms reach the lung and produce lung abscess. So the mechanism are first is aspiration of infected foreign material. Now any foreign material such as food any decaying teeth or uh, gingiva which is decaying gastric contents if aspirated then necrosis necrotic tissue from mouth upper respiratory tract or nasopharynx now these all if they are aspirated then they can produce lung abscess now how these are aspirated are mostly they are not aspirated in the normal time they are aspirated especially like during sleep unconsciousness during anesthesia journal debility or acute alcoholism so in these conditions the reflexes stopping the aspiration are reduced so these can produce lung abscess second mechanism is preceding bacterial infection if already bacterial infection is present in the lung like in bronchopneumonia tuberculosis bronchiectasis and other mycotic infections then superimposed it can develop into lung abscess as a complication third is bronchial obstruction now bronchial obstruction either by any impacted foreign body or bronchial tumor then fourth is septic embolism now septic embolism emboli from a source okay the source can be either pyemia in a thing thrombophlebitis bacterial endocarditis so emboli from any infected source if it enters the venous circulation and then it reaches the right side of the heart and from that it goes into the lung so it can produce lung abscess so emboli any septic emboli reaches lung it can again produce lung abscess then other uh, reasons can be direct trauma to the lung okay then infections which spreads from the adjacent organ such as there can be infection in the esophagus okay then spine subphrenic space or in the pleural cavity so that can produce lung abscess in the nearby organ so what is the morphology of the lung abscess now lung abscess will vary in the diameter it can be very small few millimeters and it can be as large as cavities uh, ranging from 5 to 6 centimeters and it can be either single or multiple depending upon the etiology so if you uh, see the lung abscesses they are more common in the right side of the lung now why is this common because the right main bronchus is more vertical okay so if you see this is your bronchial tree okay so the right main bronchus is more vertical than the left bronchus okay so this is more vertical so the lung abscess is more common on the right right side of the lung and it is mostly single which are due to aspiration but the uh, lung abscesses which are uh, superimposed on pneumonia bronchiectasis they are mostly multiple they are basally located and are diffusely scattered now going to the microscopy now microscopy here what is important is suppuration so the histological change in all abscesses is suppuration now what will happen there will be two things firstly there will be destruction of all the lung parenchyma the normal parenchyma you will not be able to identify destruction of normal lung parenchyma then secondly you will see lots and lots of necrosis along with you can find various inflammatory cells like neutrophils so this is the 
मेन थिंग सो द कार्डिनल हिस्टोलॉजिकल चेंज इज सपोरेटिव डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द लंग पेरनकाइमा विद इन द सेंट्रल एरिया ऑफ कैविटेशन देन द एब्सेस कैविटी द एब्सेस कैविटी विच इज बीन फॉर्म्ड कैविटी विच इज फॉर्म इट कैन बी आई द फील्ड विद ऑल द सपोरेटिव डेब्रिस दैट इज द नेक्रोस एंड द इन्फ्लामेटरी सेल्स और इट कैन हैव अ कनेक्शन विद द एयर पैसेज एंड कैन बी पार्टली ड्रेन्ड ओके सो दिस इज द माइक्रोस्कोपी आल्सो इट देर कैन बी गैंग्रीन ऑफ द लंग एंड इफ देयर इज वेरी क्रोनिक लंग एब्सेस देयर कैन बी फाइब्रोसिस सो ऑलवेज वेन देयर इज क्रोनिक थिंग फाइब्रोसिस टेक्स प्लेस सो देयर कैन बी फाइब्रस वॉल प्रेजेंट इफ द डिजीज इज क्रोनिक सो हेयर यू कैन सी this is the morphology lung parenchyma if you try to appreciate it the lung parenchyma you cannot make where alveoli are so the lung parenchyma is totally gone you can see neutrophils over here there is necrosis eosinophilic acellular material is present and few of the bacterial colonies are also present so this is the uh, morphology you see in lung abscess it is just a suppuration so the clinical features will be mostly they can be fever cough depending upon whether the lung abscess is communicating with the air air so there can be foul spelling sputum present then chest pain and weight loss can also be there the various uh, clinical symptoms you are not discussing in detail then complications can be this infection can go to adjacent organs now also it can go into the pleural cavity also it can uh, go to uh, as brain abscess as embolite can go okay meningitis can also occur and long standing cases amyloidosis can also develop so this was a very short topic and uh, can you can ask me any query on lung abscess do like and share and subscribe to this channel do let me know which uh, more topics you want me to cover thanks for watching this video thank you